Hi there. You're watching Brain Shatter. That's juicy. Hello and welcome back to Falcon Furniture. This is my second project. I'm going to be building my wife a nice custom bookcase to go up, under, and around the TV. Uh, those are the boards that she already pre-stained for me. <clears throat> so I've already purchased a bunch of three-quarter inch pipe, uh, threaded pipe, different sizes. She just had to run over to Ace to get some spacer pieces for the bottom. And we're going to kind of build it like I built her <clears throat> the nice little CD cabinet that's right there. Um, but we are going to do two legs on each side and go up. And so I'm going to get started and I'll show you how I do this one. So on this one, <clears throat> I did it where the boards are, uh, I drilled a hole right through the board. And so the board literally slides over the pipe and it comes to rest on a coupler. On this one, I'm going to be putting one of these on the floor, a little spacer on the bottom and then on the top. And then I'm going to be lining it up. Of course, I don't know where, ah, there they are. And I got um, nuts and bolts from Home Depot. And so I'm going to be running them um, into each other. So that way the top and bottom will be cinched down and tightened down with a nut and bolt, as opposed to um, drilling through and freestanding and just holding by weight. Uh, this was just a CD rack. Uh, and this one is actually going to be a bookcase and be holding files and such. So it's going to need a little bit more uh, weight capability. So just to make sure that it's good. Um, if you are going to be buying three quarter inch pipe online, um, try and see if you can buy it all in one lot from the same manufacturer. Um, there is, so this is a nice, let's see if I can get that to focus. Okay, well, this is a nice um, feel. It's a gray pipe. It's not all yucky and nasty. Um, and it just it has a good look, a good feel. It's got a little bit of a grit to it. This is what I use um, for the file cabinet over there. When I ordered 12 inch pipe, I got this. This has a light amount of like a grease to it. It is more polished and then it is painted black. And when, so these are the original ones that I got that are in this style for the bookcase over there. I was almost out of those. And so I ordered this in a 30 pack and these are painted black and they work really nice and they feel good and everything. And then I needed a few more, but they only had one set of 30. So I bought more and then we got these ones. And I don't even want to touch them because they are have a light coating of grease all over them. So I'm going to have to spend time wiping those pipes and these pipes or these fittings uh, that I use. So just be aware if you're going to try and do it and you want it to look uniform, uh, try and order from the same manufacturer. I'm probably going to take these ones right here and kind of hide them in the back and the undersides whereas these will be in the front where they'll be more presentable because they look a little bit better and they're not all greasy. So there's ways to work around it. <clears throat> and of course it's pipe furniture, so it's not really supposed, it's supposed to have that industrial look. So there are differences when you go to the hardware store and so on and so forth. So it's all good. Uh, and I will go ahead and get started. And she got some of these. And so I've already put these together. So these are going to make up the bottom. I'm going to get a level and see if I can shimmy them up so that way they are as absolutely level as I can possibly get them. And so take and try to do this while holding the camera is not very usable. But I'm a high quality YouTuber, so yeah, we'll get it done. So when you are threading these, oops, you can easily um, apply enough pressure 
and then the thread comes out the bottom. So you're not going to want that when you're putting this against the wood and you're not going to want that when you're putting it against the floor. Um, depending, once I get all of this set up, I'm going to be putting, ignore the cat toy, uh, I'm going to be putting these on the bottoms so that way they don't mar and scratch the snot out of the floor while I'm shimmying and adjusting because when you're doing this, you have to start from the bottom and then work your way up. So the first part I'm going to be, I'm not worrying about super um, getting these super level just yet. I'm gonna be taking the bottom portion off and with that out of the way, I'm gonna be able to mount the, the board on and drill the holes through the board. And then once this is mounted on both sides, with the plate on each side of the board, then I can level the bottom foot out. So, and then from there on, you're just gonna be building up, 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 top and bottom as you go up. So it's uh, just making sure that your measurements are correct. I was talking to my friend and he does a lot of building and such. He suggested giving um, about an inch and a quarter minimum gap from the edges to give it some stability and strength. So I'm gonna be measuring up. Uh, we got a big board cut at Home Depot and I didn't calculate that one of the boards is going to be a hair shorter. It is 11 and 7 16 instead of 12 inches. So I'm going to put it at the bottom because it'll not be sustaining all the weight. Um, so I'm gonna have to play with my measurements and get them correct so that way it all works out. And I will show you my math when I get it done. So I'm going to do um, the better looking ones on the bottom of the front and then the second set, which I don't care as much for. They came very greasy. Uh, they don't fit into these quite as well, <clears throat> but they do work. I put felt feet on the bottom of them <clears throat> and I made myself a little jig. So I did the measurements because the front or the bottom is going to be a little bit different than the back. I'm going to have to move in the subsequent boards just a little bit more because of my screw up, but I'm making it work. So I made this little cardboard jig with my measurements on it. So I'm going to go around and start um, drilling the holes and getting it prepped. For the right hand side, it is now done. And so there is a plate top and bottom. But I'm starting to run low on plates and I really didn't care about leaving a plate here just for the look. So I chose to do this. If you were to choose to, if you're doing this, you could put one of these on top and that completes the look. I didn't see a point because I'm not going up from there. Um, but now I'm going to be I have smaller ones that are gonna be DVD size shelves that are gonna go up from here, if, if my camera will focus. So let me go ahead and get that all measured up and keep going. And here we have the finished product. So it goes up and around the TV. I have it mounted to the wall at the top and it is just sitting on the floor and it's got little felt feet. And mounts up there. Came out very nice, very happy with it. I hope Aaron likes it. Thanks for watching. Don't you wanna to touch that button? Check it out.